Officer employee says he was just following orders when he was attacked by NYPD officers. The CBS News New York investigators have obtained the security footage. We want to warn you here, it is disturbing. Investigative reporter Tim McNicholas has the story tonight. Jason Salter still struggles watching this video of the NYPD arresting him in front of his frightened colleagues. And even more so when he watches this video of officers appearing to pummel him as he drops to the ground just before the arrest. I just wish that day wouldn't happen. I wish I would have called out sick that day. <laughs> that day was February 5th of this year when he was working as a shift supervisor for a nonprofit hired by the city's Department of Homeless Services, or DHS, to run the Renaissance Shelter in Crown Heights. He says the NYPD officers showed up in the early morning looking for a domestic violence suspect who'd been staying at the shelter. Salter says they didn't have a warrant, so according to an internal DHS report, he called a director of social services for the city and put her on speakerphone. She said in front of the sergeant officers, no, Jason, absolutely not. Do not let them in. They do not have a warrant. I said, no, ma'am. Absolutely not. Do not let them in. He says he offered to go try to convince the client to come down, but the officers insisted on entering. Eventually, one of them got through a door and got closer to the dormitory area, so Salter says he held the door to try to keep the others out. So this officer is basically telling me to step aside. If you don't open this effing door, I'm going to tase you. And then that's when I step aside, throw my hands up. Whoa. Uh, don't tase me. <laughs> I don't want to be tased for nobody. While what happened off camera is unclear, the officer appears to open the door, another rushes in, and the two of them repeatedly punch Salters. The DHS report says the NYPD, quote, ambushed Salters, who says he never threatened the officers or fought back. The NYPD and the mayor's office would not agree to an interview with us or explain why the officers responded the way they did. He wouldn't be a dog like that. Did you worry in that moment whether you would make it out of that situation? Yes. Yes. I worried that my mother was going to have to bury her son. The report says that social services director had said that, according to city policy, the NYPD is not permitted to search the facility for the client if they're not in active pursuit, like a foot chase. But CBS News New York investigates reviewed other DHS documents that state officers could enter in some circumstances with a document called an investigative card or I-card. The DHS report on the incident shows the officers did present an I-card that morning, but Salter says he called that social services director because he'd never even heard of that. I think um, the whole system needs to be revamped in training. Um, when to call emergency services, when not to call emergency services, when to allow them. It should be clear cut. Two former law enforcement officers say regardless of whether the officer should have been allowed in, the surveillance video raises serious questions. The punches seemed unreasonable. Uh, again, we need context, full context, but just judging from what we saw, my question is, was it reasonable? Unless there was some other way uh, he was using force that, that's not displayed on the video, I think it's worthy of an investigation to see if the use of force was justified. Guys, your punch was sweet! Oh. Oh. Salter says after this, he was taken to a hospital and eventually to NYPD Central Booking, where he says police told him he was being charged with obstruction and resisting arrest. But the day after the beating, Salter says he was released with no charges, just what he describes as a great deal of pain and trauma. My anxiety level is on a thousand. I've also had some injuries to my arms and legs and back, but my biggest problem is peace of mind. I don't go outside anymore. A uniform itself <laughs> brings me back. The city's Civilian Complaint Review Board says it is investigating what happened to Salters. The DHS report says after the officers handcuffed Salters, they did search the shelter and they did not find the suspect, Maurice. So many questions here.